Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all the super quick and easy way that I remove backgrounds from my illustration using the program Pixelmator. Now this is an update video. I did a video about this a while ago, um, like I think over a year when I was first, very first getting started on YouTube. And uh, in that video, I talk about why I use Pixelmator versus something like Photoshop. And the short version of that is that um, Photoshop, Creative Cloud, the whole subscription service, that's just not for me. It's super expensive and I like having the program on my computer um, and I don't wanna deal with a paying a monthly fee. And then also just at a baseline level, I'm primarily a traditional illustrator. The only time I do digital illustration is just on my iPad using Procreate and I just do that for fun. Like when I'm traveling or sometimes on weekend or evening if I'm watching a movie or something and I just wanna mess around. Um, I do also use it for doing color comps for clients, but um, I don't need something with nearly as much oomph as um, Photoshop has or Illustrator. Those programs are just, I, I would be paying for way more than I needed. Really all I need is to be able to remove the background, do some minor digital editing, like erasing little specks of dust, that sort of thing. So um, that's why I use Pixelmator over Photoshop. And um, I can't remember the exact price, but I will try to look it up and put it on the screen and I'll put a link to it in the description box. I've been using it for probably, I mean, four, it's gotta be at least four years now. And um, they've done some updates. I actually don't even really know when they did the update. I feel terrible that I didn't notice, but all of a sudden one day I noticed that there was a new feature uh, that made it way easier to remove the background. So um, that was what prompted me wanting to make this video. And who, who knows, probably it came out like a year and a half ago and I just didn't notice, but um, we won't go there. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how I used to remove the background and maybe another way to remove the background and then the super quick and easy way that I am doing it now. So I'm gonna do that with a screen capture video and I've just, uh, I've re-scanned uh, an existing illustration cause I don't have anything new that I can show right now. I'm sort of waiting uh, in confidentiality periods. So uh, I can't show any of the stuff I've been working on lately but I just have re-scanned an old illustration and I'm gonna edit that again to show you all how that works. Um, so you will be switching to the screen capture video now. All right, so here we go. I'm using this uh, illustration of a coconut that I did a while ago and I had rescanned it in and I'm using the magic wand to select the background. And as you can see, you just sort of click and drag. And uh, this is how I used to edit all of my illustrations in Pixelmator. And uh, the wand used to not be nearly as accurate as it is now. So as you can see, since the subject of the illustration is kind of a darker brown, it's having no problem differentiating the subject and the background. And I just have to go in and grab all these little nooks and crannies. And that may seem tedious, uh, but actually in the past, I would have to just kind of do a general selection and then go and hand erase around all of these little fronds. So it was a huge pain. Um, so yeah, even with the magic wand, uh, that has been significantly improved in this version of Pixelmator, so it's much easier to use. So yeah, I'm just kind of working my way around the coconut, making sure I've selected all of the areas of background that I want to delete. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed that up. Okay, so once I've got all of the areas I wanted uh, of the background selected, I'm going to go ahead and get into the menu and choose refine selection and I'm going to opt to uh, increase the shape roundness and this is basically going to help smooth out all of those little bumps and kind of awkward edges that you have because of the texture of the paper. Now this is something when I'm working with this kind of subject that you have to be really careful about because uh, if you do it too much you're going to lose the little ends of the fronds which has already happened even though I didn't turn it up very high. So uh, as you can see I'm going back and trying to add the ends of the little uh, each little kind of hairy filament frond thing. I don't actually know what those little hairs on the coconut are called, but um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. A 
okay, I've got my selection and I've got it refined. So now all I have to do is hit delete and it will clear the background. So if I was preparing to send this illustration to a client, I probably would just leave the background blank. But uh, if I'm getting it ready to put in my portfolio or share online, I will add a white background, which is what you just saw me do. And once the white background is added, I'll go through and just double check and make sure there's nothing left that needs to be erased. Sometimes little, um, little bits still get left behind even if I'm really careful with the selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the cleanup. all cleaned up and now I'm just kind of cropping and positioning and getting it uh, where I want in the composition. Now this whole process took about six minutes and before doing an illustration like this with all these little lines and hairs and stuff could have easily taken 30 minutes or more just to remove the background. So this is a huge improvement in uh, this new version of Pixelmator. Okay, on to the next method for removing a background from an illustration. So for this one, we're gonna use uh, this ice cream piece because it's pretty close to the color of the paper. And as you can see, when I try to use the magic wand selection tool, it really just kind of naturally selects everything that is that same color or close to that color. So a lot of the ice cream ends up getting selected as well as the background. Now, um, the wand selection tool has improved, so I could make it work with this one, um, but overall it's much easier to use the quick selection tool. So that's what I'm doing. And as you can see, I'm just kind of moving around the image and clicking. And if you pull out further, you can click on a larger area. And if you zoom in closer to the image, it will allow you to get a little bit more um, refined. Okay, so I have my basic selection and now I'm doing the same thing that I did with the coconut illustration and I'm altering, um, I'm refining the selection. So I've chosen to alter the shape roundness and I've just increased that slightly. And I'm just looking around to make sure that everything overall is still included that I would want included in the selection. Now I'm gonna do a few little final tweaks and then do all of the same things that I did with the previous illustration, kind of go around and erase any parts that are left over and then uh, delete them and put in the white background. All right, there it is, all done. So this one took a little bit less time than the coconut, just around four minutes. So um, I think this method is slightly faster and also this particular illustration is, uh, it's just not, it's, even though it's the white on white, it's just not as complicated to do as something that has all those little pieces sticking off of it. So um, that is the ice cream uh, illustration all edited. All right, folks, that is it. That is the super quick and easy way that I uh, edit my images to remove the background using Pixelmator. And uh, I did wanna mention one other thing really quick. And that is that uh, some folks have commented, if I wanna get rid of the background texture, why don't I just use hot press instead of cold press? Um, and if you don't know, hot press is a really smooth paper, has a really smooth finish with very little tooth or grain to it and um, cold press, it can be a bit rougher. And then there's also rough paper that's super rough. Um, so number one, I do use a smooth paper as well as cold press. I use uh, printmaking paper and the kind that I use, the Reeves BFK is super smooth. It's, I think it's as smooth as like an Arches hot press. So um, not much difference there. And then it's not just having to get rid of the texture, but uh, a lot of clients, particularly if it's, if. Uh, illustration is a spot or um, they're using it in context with other stuff like on a label with typography they actually specifically do want the background gone so it's it's not just it's not just an issue of having something that has less green when it's scanned in I actually have to have the transparent background so um, yeah, so I would have to do that either way and having a, um, it's not really any easier to do with a hot press or for me the, the Reeves than it is with a cold press. Um, yeah, so that's why I still have to take out the background no matter what and I think that's all I want to say in this video. So pretty straightforward. Hope it was helpful and uh, hope everybody has a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye!